the virgin bora elder the ancient of days he who holds mountains is carried by a maiden he gives bread to the hungry but is nursed like an infant the son with no beginning will to have a beginning he came to birth he is without end but a god chola bola bro al ruh ka disho mana lamma damar walam wal milamin the just of all gave her name to the daughter of david the holy virgin the blessed mary Exile prophet Ezekiel called her the closed door Solomon the enclosed garden and sealed fountain David called her a city where a seedless herbs sprouted our lord has become the food of all the nations of earth and magnifies her in heaven and on earth lord have mercy upon us and help us o blessed one may your prayers be with the soul with me the lord hear your prayer and have mercy on us a watcher descended when mary was a prayer and gave to her Greeting of peace and by God the Father, we once said to her, Peace be unto you, you shall conceive a son in your virginity. The watcher said, Be not troubled, full of beauty, the Lord is pleased that you shall bear his only son. shall receive a one dress conception and shall bring forth a child who's king down as no and by the prayer of her who carried you for nine months o son of god remove from us the scourge of wrath blessed is the glory of the lord his praise for Should he have mercy upon us? Blessed is the glory of the Lord, and praise for us. Holy and glorious, should he have mercy upon us? Blessed is the glory of the Lord, and praise for us. Holy and glorious, should he have compassion and mercy upon us? You are holy and glorious forever. You are holy and glorious forever. You are holy and blessed is your name forever and ever. Glory be to you, Lord. Glory be to you, Lord. Glory be. To your hope forever, but of more. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts and sins, as we also have forgiven our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Forever and ever, Amen. Mary, full of grace, our Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, our Lord Jesus Christ. O Virgin Saint Mary, O Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at all times, and at the hour of our death, Amen. Blessed is he who made you. Healing springs flowing on earth. He made it. Your mama is a 
blessing for us. You harbor the belief for sinners who repent. Pray with us to Christ, to rest in your holy bones, that he may show compassion and be merciful to us. And grant us unveiled faces at the throne of his God, and we will sing praise by night and by day. But if more, glory be to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and to the ages of ages and forevermore. Fair and lovely was the word our Lord spoke in his gospel. He declared, Blessed the zealous faithful. Blessed are the poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the persecuted and the Martyrs who were slain for the sufferings which they bore and the pain which they entered. The kingdom is theirs and eternal life. Lord, have mercy upon us and help us. Lord, have mercy upon us by the praise of your servant. We pray of you, the apostles who preach you, and martyrs who died for you, intercede with you. So The scourge and the rod of wrath. Lord, have mercy upon us by the prayers of your servants, by their prayers and petitions. Have mercy upon our souls. Give rest to our departed in your glorious abode. Lord, give rest to them and mercy to us while you forgive and blot out the faults of us and of them. Realize all, realize all, realize all. Lord, be have mercy. Glory be to the Lord. Glory be to you, O Lord. Glory be to your hope forever, but if more. Send us to the Lord and to the our fathers and our brethren have departed from this life till resurrection comes for those who sleep. Give rest, O Lord, to their souls in a port of light. May their bones quicken on the day of their memory when you come and raises up all the children of Adam. May they be clothed with glory, enter the bridal chamber, and offer praises to you, their Savior, Barak Glory be to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Unto the ages of ages and forevermore, blessed are the dead for whom the living make offerings, for their memories are written in heaven. 
As Moses wrote the tribe's names on tablets of stone, that they might have eternal memory before God, Lord, all the host full of life, record the names of your dead, that they may be remembered in the church and in heaven. And when the Lord comes, they rejoice with Him. Lord, have mercy upon us and help us. Together, blessed is he who will come and raise the dead. Hallelujah, 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 glory be to you, God. Hallelujah, 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 glory to you, God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah glory to you, God. In our sacrifices and our prayers, we make memory of our fathers who taught us while they were alive to be children of God. O Son of God, raise them up in the heavenly kingdom with the just and the righteous in the world which does not pass away. Praising to the splendid and glorious one who has magnified the memory of his mother in heaven and on earth and has honored the memory of his saints in every place and region. He who has sprinkled the dew of his mercy and compassion on the bones of the faithful departed. To you belongs glory and honor and worship at this time of the fulfillment of this lilio. At all times, seasons, hours, and all the days of our lives forever. cherished memory of her who is worthy of blessings and praise from all peoples of the earth the holy glorious and blessed ever virgin mary the blessed theotokos with her we remember the holy prophets we remember the apostles and preachers the evangelists martyrs and the confessors we remember the just people the priests the holy fathers and two pastors the holy doctors of the orthodox faith, the holy chaste virgins, and those who practice fasting. We remember the hermits and the monks and all who do works by their prayers, by which you hear their supplication, which you receive. Look upon us with an eye of mercy. Forgive us our offenses and pardon our sins. Make us and our departed worthy of the dwellings of Jerusalem and the bosom of Abraham that we may be placed with the companies of the saints, be joined to their assemblies, and be with them and among them. And we will offer praise and thanksgiving to you, and to your Father, and to your Holy Spirit, one God, now and always, and forever and ever. receive the remission of debts and forgiveness of sins in both worlds forever and ever. Amen. 
the Lord and my spirit rejoice in God my Savior. Because he has looked upon the lowliness of his son made for behold from henceforth. All generations shall be blessed. Because he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is from generation to generation on those who fear him. He has won victory with his arm, he has guided the proud of the conceit of their heart. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has given help to Israel, his servant, mindful of his mercy, even as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and his seed forever, but of more. Glory be to the fathers and not the Holy Spirit. And to the ages of ages and forevermore. You the pride of the whole creation, O they all talk us, because from you God the Word was pleased to take flesh, O virgin pure and holy, we exalt you with praise. You are the closed door which as a keel saw, O Mother by which no man has entered except God the Word. O Virgin pure and holy, we exalt you with praise. You who promised us that where you are, your servant shall be. And all the martyrs heard you and followed you, Lord. And shun this temporal life, we exalt you with praise. O Lord, in your mercy give a good hope to the departed, who aid your holy body and absolving blood. Let them stand at your right hand when your majesty appears but more. Let us all offer praise to the Father and worship the Son and give thanks to the Spirit, three holy persons. Praise be to the one true God, and mercy be to us. Amen. How good and fair it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Like you wish to sons upon the head and upon the beard, even the beard of Aaron, and descends to the hem of his robe, like the dew of vermin which descends on the mountain of Zion. Because there the Lord promised a blessing and life forevermore. And to you belongs the praise of God, Barak Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And to the ages of ages, and forevermore. Let us make memory of Mary, and may she help us by her prayers. Let us make memory of the just, and may they help us by their prayers. As apostles and martyrs, may your prayer be a stronghold trust. Make us worthy, Lord, of the harbor of your martyrs, and of the dwelling of your friends. Compassionate and prolonged mercy on the day of judgment, have mercy on us. Blessed is he who does not keep his mercy for sinners who call upon him, but of more. Glory be to the Father and to the Holy Spirit. Make a good memory, Lord, of the children of the faithful church. Unto the ages of ages and forevermore. And let them stand at your right hand on the day when your majesty appears. and all seasons, Virgin Mother of God, may your prayer be a stronghold for us. By the prayers of your saints, keep from us the evil one, who at all times lay snares for us. Jesus, our Lord and our God, may your cross be a stronghold for us, and may we be protected beneath it. Jesus, word of God, guard the living by your cross, and pardon the dead in your mercy. Oh, no. 
all the days of our life, let us thank and worship and praise the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our God, full of mercy, on the great day when you come, raise us up at your right hand. You have, you have made us worthy to sing praise to you at this time, make us worthy to inherit your kingdom. May your mercy be upon us, Lord, Lord of our death and our life. Have mercy upon our souls, Lord, have mercy upon us and help us. Awake. Barakamor, awake you that sleep, arise and sing praise. Praise the Lord from the heavens, praise Him in the heart. Praise, praise Him all His angels, praise Him all His hosts. Praise Him sun and moon, praise Him all stars of light. Praise Him heaven of heavens and waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For He spoke and they were made, He commanded and they were created. He established them forever and ever. He gave them a law which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, sea monsters and all depths. Fire and hail, snow and mist, stormy winds that fulfill his word. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild beasts and all cattle, creeping things and birds that fly. Kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all judges of the earth, young men too and maiden, old men and boys, let them praise the name of the Lord. For his name alone is exalted, his praise is on earth and in heaven. And he has lifted up the horn of his people, praise for all the just, the children of Israel, the people who draw near to him. Praise the Lord with a new praise in the assembly of the just. Let Israel be glad in her maker, that the children of Zion rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name with the timbrel and the drum. Let them sing to him with the harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people and gives salvation to the poor. Let the just exalt in glory. Let them praise him on their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their throats and a two-edged sword in their hands. To execute vengeance on the nations and to rebuke the peoples, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute on them the judgment which is written, that is the glory of the just. Praise the Lord in his holy place. Praise him in, in the firmament of his strength. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him for his abounding greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the lyre and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and the drum. Praise him with soft strings. Praise him with loud cymbals. Praise him with the sound of the voice. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Praise him, all you peoples. For his grace is strong over us. Truly, the Lord is forever. And to you belongs the praise, O God, Barakmo. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Unto the ages of ages and forevermore. Praise to the Holy Trinity. Praise to the Holy Trinity. We praise the glorious Trinity, self-existent and eternal. And to you belongs the praise, O God, at all time. The King's daughter stands in glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and thank you at your right hand. Leave your people and your father's house. Hallelujah, oh hallelujah, for the king will desire your beauty. But Glory be to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Unto the ages of ages and forevermore. Right of the faithful one. Offer prayers on our behalf to the only begotten. That he have mercy on us. So men call us so. Prophets, apostles, and the martyrs, and the children of the church upon the earth. May good memory be made now and forever. Glory 
to the Son of God who will to come from the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary and save the people from error by His birth exalting her memory may her prayers shall flourish and be great in old age. Hallelujah, oh hallelujah. They shall be fruitful and fragrant, but at more. Unto the ages of ages and forevermore. Kept here and in heaven, may your prayer be a help to those who honor your memory. So men call us Kuriyadai so. Behold the time of prayer, more give or give. Stand and intercede at the head of your. Stretch forth your hand like Moses and bless all those who hasten to the sound of your gentle voice, Barak Mo. Shabola, Bola, Baro, Al Ruho, Kadi Show. Praise to the Father who chose you, Saint Gabriel, and to the Son who honors your memory. Worshipped is the Holy Spirit who crowns you by your prayers. May mercy be on us all. As for man, his days are like grass. Hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, like the flower of the field, so he blooms but at more. be to the fathers and then the Holy Spirit. Unto the ages of ages and forevermore. May a living voice of it, the grace to servants who slept in hope and trusted in your mercy. Stone and God was and I so. And drank your blood, the chalice of salvation. Raise them up from the Without corruption and clothe them in glory, those who wait for you, but at more. Shubahola, Bola, Baro, Al Ruho, Kadi Show, Menodam, Wada, Monodam, Al Mirami, the son of the king who gives life to the dead will be carried up of the clouds of beauty. The righteous who hear the trumpet before him will be clothed in glorious garments and meet him. Lord, have mercy upon us and help us. Lord, how mercy upon us by your mother's 
hands on saints prayer may the angel who brought peace and announced to the virgin come and say to us that god is reconciled with us all may the angel who sprinkled to warn the three holy youths sprinkle the dew of mercy on the bones of all the dead lord have mercy upon us by your mothers and saints prayers forgive all our offenses and absolve our departed. As the angels and archangels on high in heaven sing praise of your poor children of earth, sing praise and sing. At all times and at all seasons, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and tranquility, and good hope for the sons of men. We praise you, we bless you. We worship you, we raise up a hymn of praise to you. We give thanks to you because of your great glory, Lord our Creator, King of Heaven, God the Father Almighty. Lord God, only Son Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son and Word of the Father, who take away, or rather have taken away, the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You who take away, or rather have taken away the sin of the world, Incline your ear to us and receive our prayer. You who sit in glory at the right hand of the Father, have compassion on us. And because you only are holy, you only Lord Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. At all times and all the days of my life, I will bless and praise your name, which is holy and blessed forever which remains forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord Almighty, God of our fathers, and your name is blessed and glorified in praise forever. To you belongs glory, to you belongs praise, to you belongs honor. God of all, Father of truth, with the only Son, the living Holy Spirit, now and always, forever and ever. Amen. Oh, Lord Jesus Christ, do not close the door in mercy in our faces. We, we confess that we are sinners, have mercy upon us. O oh, Lord, your love may you descend to us from your place, that by your death our death might be abolished. Have mercy upon us. Amen. We believe in one true God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and the one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all worlds, light of light, true God of true God, Begotten, not made, being of one essence with the Father, and by whom all things are made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of the Holy Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and became man and was crucified for us in the days of Pontius Pilate and suffered and died and was buried. And on the third day he rose again according to his will and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of his Father, and shall come again in his great glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the one living Holy Spirit, the life-giving Lord of all, who proceeds from the Father, and who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke to the prophets and apostles, and in the one holy Catholic and apostolic church, and we confess one baptism for the remission of sins, and look for the resurrection of the dead, and the new life from the world to come. Amen. Please be seated for a silence of meditation.
In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, one true God, glory be to Him and may grace and mercy be upon us for our Amen. Amen. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, vast glory, the heaven and earth will Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who has come and is to come in the name of the Lord. Glory be to the highest. Holy art thou, O God. Holy art thou, Almighty. Holy art thou, Immortal. Crucified for us, have mercy on us. Holy art thou, O God. Holy art thou, Almighty. Holy art thou, Immortal. Crucified for us, have mercy on us. Holy art thou, O God. Holy art thou, Almighty, holy art thou, immortal, crucified for us, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, be kind and have mercy. Lord, accept our service and our prayers, have mercy on us. Glory be to the O God. Glory be to the O Creator. Glory be to the O Christ the King. Who has compassion on his sinful servants, Varakmo? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our offenses, as we also have forgiven our debtors. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, our Lord Jesus Christ. O Virgin Saint Mary, O Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at all times, here at your order. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. May His mercy and compassion be upon us, weak and sinful, in both worlds, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who became incarnate of the Holy Virgin, Lived as a man in this world, and you know, dear Father, and as mortals by your sacrifice on the cross, accept the office we offer you in rumors of your Holy Mother, and the pro Holy Prophets, Martyrs, and other saints. By their prayers may we get spared from wrathful punishment, from evil spirit and evil men. And live a life holy and well pleasing to you, we offer you praise and adoration, not always and forevermore. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon me, O God, in your loving kindness. In the abundance of your mercy, blot out my sin. Wash me thoroughly from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults and my sins are before me always. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight that you may be justified in your words and vindicated in your judgment. For I was born in guilt, and in sin did my mother conceive me. But you take pleasure in truth, and you have made known to me the secrets of your wisdom. Sprinkle me with your hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Give me the comfort of your joy and gladness, and the bones which have been humbled shall rejoice. Turn away your face from my sins and blot out all my faults. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew your steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. But restore to me your joy and your salvation. Let your glorious spirit sustain me, that I may teach the wicked your way, and sinners may return to you. Deliver me from blood, O God, God of my salvation 
and my tongue shall praise your justice. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall sing your praise. For you do not take pleasure in sacrifices. By burnt offerings you are not appeased. The sacrifice of God is a humble spirit, a heart that is contrite, God will not despise. Do good in your good pleasure to Zion, and build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then shall you be satisfied with sacrifices of truth, and with whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer books upon your altar, and to you belongs the praise, O God, Barak Spirit, unto the ages of ages and forevermore. Oh, merciful Lord, have mercy upon us and help us. Lord, have mercy upon us and help us. Kurilaison, my God, you are my God, and earnestly I will seek you. My soul thirsts for you, and my flesh seeks for you, like the thirsty earth which is parched and begging for water. So have I looked for you in truth, that I may see your power and your glory. Because your loving kindness is better than life, and my lips shall praise you. So I will bless you while I live, and I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be enriched as with marrow and fat, and my mouth shall praise you with lips of praise. I have remembered you upon my bed, and in the night time I have meditated on you. For you have been my helper, and in the shadow of your wings is my protection. My soul follows after you, and your right hand upholds me. And those who seek to destroy my soul shall enter into the lower parts of the earth. They shall be delivered over to the sword, and shall be food for foxes, but the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone who swears by him shall glory, but the mouth of those who speak lies shall be stopped. And to you belongs the praise, O God, Baruch Moore. Glory be to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Unto the ages of ages and forevermore. With the Holy Virgin, who bore you in purity, make us worthy to sing praise to you, O Lord God. With the true prophets who prophesied of your coming, make us worthy to sing praise to you, O Lord God. With martyrs and confesses who endure torments and pain, make us worthy to sing praise to you, O Lord God. With Saint Basil the Great and noble Saint Gregory, make us worthy to sing praise to you, O Lord God. With Saint Gregorios and Saint Divanasios, make us worthy to sing praise to you, O Lord God. With the five wise virgins who were ready with their lambs, make us worthy to sing praise to you, O Lord God. With the thief who believed whom you promised paradise, make us worthy to sing praise to you, O Lord God. Men olam wa adam ola olam ol minamin with angels in heaven who praise you unceasingly make us worthy to sing praise to you, O Lord God. Amen. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the Lord's name be blessed forever and ever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, great is the name of the Lord. The Lord is high above all peoples, and his glory is above the heaven. Who is like the Lord our God, who sits on high and looks upon the depths in heaven and on earth? He raises up the poor from, from the, the dunghill dung and makes him sit with the princes of the people. He gives a barren woman a home and makes her a joyful mother of children. 
children, and to you belongs the praise, O God, Baruch Mo. Glory be to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Unto the ages of ages and forevermore. May Mary, who bore you, and John, who baptized you, intercede for us. O Lord, have mercy on us all. Peace, O Lord, for mercy and compassion. O merciful Lord, have mercy upon us and help us. Praise and thanksgiving, glory and adoration, and exaltation unceasing to the all times and all hours. May we ascribe unto you, O Lord. Praise to the glorious fruit which sprang forth from the virgin womb and came forth into the world to redeem and give life to the dead who had transgressed the commandment by eating the blessed shoot which budded and came up from the thirsty earth of Mary, and who healed those who were sick on account of our sin, the sweet manna which was placed in the mystical ark, Mary, and sweetened those who had grown bitter on account of our sin, to him belongs glory, honor, worship, at this time of the morning prayer, at all times and seasons and hours, and for all the days of our lives. Christ our God, who sent forth prophets and messengers to go before your glorious coming and to reveal by their mysteries and figures how you were to come forth in the flesh from a virgin without change and without confusion. You are likened, therefore, to a natural cloud which cannot be laid hold of, so that as the cloud sent showers on the thirsty fields without any part partner, you, the rain of life, descended from heaven to the earth and were carried by Mary like a cloud of flesh. Your birth was again signified by that rock of flint in the desert, which brought forth a fountain of water without receiving moisture and satisfied the thirst of the people, because you also are a water of life, which is brought forth from the womb of, the vo womb of her who was full of beauty and you quench the thirst of the world. The oil also which once flowed from the rock is likened to you, divine anointing, which came forth from the purity of the virgin by a supreme mystery. And you are a holy anointing to the holy church, redeemed by your precious cross. The honey again from the old hard rock, which you gave to the people for their food, was a figure of your sweetness, which sweetened and made fragrant the bitterness of the Gentiles, the ark of the manna, which was kept in the earthly tabernacle, also signified to us your wondrous conception from Mary, for in the likeness of the manna, which came down from heaven, you descended from the height of your divinity and dwelt to the womb, that you might be a heavenly food for the Holy Church, and you are laid upon the holy altar, David also had a desire for the waters of your Godhead when he prayed that his thirst might be quenched from the deep pool of Bethlehem. It was not the waters of springs or fountains that he sought, but the water, water which descends from on high. Indeed, you are the life-giving water from Bethlehem, which David saw, for it is you who quenched the thirst of the world, and he desired you. Again, the herb when, which the earth brought forth signified you without seed, came forth from the thirsty earth from the Virgin Mary. Therefore, we beseech, beg and beseech you, O good one, and the lover of mankind, on this day of the remembrance of Holy Mary, who was found worthy to be your mother by grace, that you will grant by her prayers peace and tranquility to your people and your churches, enlighten those who are misled, regarding the word of your doctrine, who take part in her memorial, who take word in your doctrine and gather them together in the teaching of your truth, and to those who take part in the, her memorial, grant a share in the good things which never pass away and the joys which never fade. And with them we offer praise to you, to your Father and your Holy Spirit, both now and always and forever. Amen. 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 Amen.
in both worlds forever and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy, have mercy on me. Missions and sweat we offer to you before the pardon and forgiveness of our sins. Make us stand, O living Son, at your right hand on that day when your mercy manifests. O God, who saved us by your cross, but of more. Glory be to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Unto the ages of ages and forevermore. Glory to you, Lord, who being eternal with God the Father, lowered your great majesty from the hidden heights above and became man by your will and healed the diseases of Adam's race. Glory to you, Lord. Mount Sinai tremble at your presence, Lord, yet the blessed virgin carried you, Lord, who carries all of the heights and the depths. She conceived you without man and brought you forth wondrously. Magnify her memory, O Lord. O Virgin Mary, the angel brought you this message of peace. The King shall dwell in your womb. You will bear him without man. Blessed are you, Holy Virgin, for you brought forth the great Son, who gives light to all creation. Saints are invited to the high kingdom, which ear has not heard, nor has the eye of flesh seen, nor the human heart conceived. That which God has prepared for those noble ones who love Christ, blessed are those who are made worthy. The martyrs proclaim our crown awaits us, and our reward is kept for us in his kingdom. We suffered by fire and sword, so Christ will console us in the paradise he promised to all those who truly love him. Christ the King at your door of compassion, I love every hour and from your rich treasure house I ask for mercy and grace in you Lord I take refuge shame me not I confess to you you're my hope and strong protection how narrow the door and straight the path which leads to the kingdom he who wants to follow it needs restraint and discipline he who relaxes his guard is drawn to the path of sin by his will he will lose his soul those who are sealed in holy baptism with the seal of Christ who ate his holy body and drank his absolving blood shall be raised up from the dust to life it 
eternal and shall be clothed in garments of glory. Lord, have mercy upon us and help us. Lord, give up your incense by which all the powers of heaven are delighted and whose scent of life and breath of purity, all things, however favorable, however far breathed, receive from us sinners this fragrant incense which we present before you for the honorable and holy remembrance of Mary, the, your blessed mother, bestowing on us all <clears throat> the abundance of your blessings with the forgiveness of all, all faults <clears throat> and the transgressions <clears throat> which have been committed by us weak and sinful as we are. By her prayers grant continual peace and unbroken tranquility that we may offer praise and thanksgiving to you, your Father, your Holy Spirit, both now and always, and forever. Amen. Light has arisen in darkness for the righteous. At the time when the light appears and takes away the darkness, heaven and earth worship you, Lord. These two were made at one time, one a firmament above, the other held the waters, and the air stretched between them. A bridal chamber arose, praise to you, Lord, for your works, but echmo. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, unto the ages of ages and forevermore. to you, palace in which the king dwells. Your poverty was removed when the rich one descended and entered into your home so that he might satisfy the hunger of the nations. shall not overtake. Blessed are the apostles who walked in the light of Christ. May their prayers be a stronghold and a refuge for our souls. May their memories be honored from end to end of the earth.
Come in peace, come, O true shepherd, O foundation of the church, for you are like Peter and Paul, O brother of the prophets, O friend of the apostles, full of zeal like Elijah, pure like John the Beloved. Blessed are we, the church who receives you, O wise ruler. Lord, be kind and have mercy. Lord, do not I'll inherit Gehenna. I shall be cut off from life and unable to praise you. Forgive me in your mercy. Lord, give rest and remembrance to our fathers and brethren who have fallen sleep in your home, Lord, when you sit in judgment to divide good from evil, place them in the ranks of saints, let them behold your mercy. Shoulders dance in glory, hallelujah, oh hallelujah, glorious green at your right hand. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree, hallelujah, oh hallelujah, like cedars of Lebanon, they shall mercy to his children, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, so the Lord shows mercy to those who fear him, glory be to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, and to the ages of ages and forevermore, glory be to God, oh, Honor be to his mother, crowns of praise for his martyrs, grace and mercy for the dead. So men canos so the Father granted his peace unto the blessed. be with all the prophets. Peace. 
sinners but us more. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts and sins. As we also have forgiven our debtors. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thine is the kingdom, power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, our Lord is with thee. Blessed are thy among women. Blessed are the fruit of thy womb, our Lord Jesus Christ. O Virgin Saint Mary, O Mother of God, pray for us in this. Now and at all times, save your own death. Amen. Blessed is Mary, the mother who did bring forth God the Word. Upon her knees she carried Him who is the Lamb of God. She was not harmed by His light. Nor by fervor of his power, for his strength supported her. She bore him who was carried by the cherubim's chariot, but a Glory be to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And to the ages of ages and forevermore. The church proclaims three mysteries to teach those who doubt the truth. A tree, a rock, and a fish which brought Forth wondrous fruit, the tree did bring forth the lamb. The rock did flow with water. The fish did bring forth the coin. These three reprove him who doubts the mystery of virgin birth. Lord, have mercy upon us and help us. May you prayer be held as always. O blessed one, may the Lord hear your prayers and have mercy on us with all. Grace made the sun descend to her. She found favor as to become the mother of the Son of God. In whom shall I dwell but in the meek and humble he dwelt in her who was the most humble of all. For no one was ever so humble as Mary, and none was ever so exalted as she was by the prayers of her who carried you for nine months, O Son of God, removed from us the scourge of wrath. Peace to you, Mary, our commissioners, which Moses fashioned, peace of the Lord, the Spirit, shown by the living waters. Peace to you, strong. Prophet David spoke, 
God came home from your home. Glory be to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The martyrs put on the cross as armor and fought with Satan. To the ages of ages and forevermore, Lord, at the table which you have prepared for the righteous ones, see the faithful departed who consumed your flesh. Confess unto your Father, for they died and slept in your home. Lord, have mercy upon us and help us. Lord, mind the prayer of your mother and saints. Have mercy on us, Son. And fortress for our souls. Prophets, apostles, and holy martyrs, beseech and beg for mercy for our souls. O Lord, sprinkle the dew of gladness on our departed. Who has slept in your home? Praise to him who has honored his mother, glorified the saints, and raised up the dead. Lord, by the prayer of your mother and saints, have mercy on us and our departed. Barakamor, the Holy Spirit, sang through David the song of glory and salvation is in the tabernacle of the righteous. The reading is from the third book of Moses, Barak Moore. Again, the Lord spoke to Moses saying, when a young bull, a sheep or a goat is born, it shall be seven days with its mother. And from the eighth day and thereafter, it shall be accepted as a gift made by fire to the Lord. Whether it is a young bull or a sheep, do not kill both her and her young on the same day. Now, if you offer a sacrifice, a vow of rejoicing to the Lord, you shall offer it so as to be acceptable before you. On the same day, it shall be eaten. You shall leave none of its flesh until morning. I am the Lord, therefore, 
You shall keep my commands and do them. You shall not defile my holy name, but I will be sanctified among the children of Israel. I am the Lord who sanctifies you, who brings you out of the land of Egypt to be your God. I am the Lord. The reading is from the book of the prophet Micah, Barak Moore. Arise and thresh them, O daughter of Zion, for I shall make your horns iron, and I will make your hooves bronze. And you will cause the nations to melt away, and you will winnow many peoples. You will dedicate their abundance to the Lord, and their strength to the Lord of all the earth. Now the daughter of Ephraim will be blockaded by a sage wall, for he ordered affliction against us, and they shall smite the tribes of Israel with a rod upon the cheek. And you, O Bethlehem, house of Ephrathah, though you are fewest in number among the thousands of Judah, yet out of you shall come forth to me the one to be ruler of Israel. His goings forth were from the beginning, even from everlasting. Therefore he shall give them up until the appointed time for her to give birth. And then the remnant of her brothers will, will return to the sons of Israel. And he shall stand and see and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord. And they will Dwell in the glory of the name of the Lord, their God, for now they shall be magnified unto the ends of the earth. And she will have peace, for when the Asrian comes into our land and goes up upon our country, then seven shepherds and eight attacks try. Then seven shepherds and eight attacks from men will be raised up against them. They will tempt the Asrian with a sword and the land of the Nimrod in her trench and he will deliver you from the land of Estrian should he come into your land, and should he come uh, over your borders. And the remnant of Jacob will be among the nations in the midst of many peoples, as dew dwelling from the Lord and as lambs in a field of grass, in order that none among the sons of men may assemble together nor resist. And the remnant of Jacob will be among the nations in the midst of many peoples as a lion among the cattle in the forest and as a young lion among a flock of sheep, which whenever it passes through, she seizes and carries off its prey and there is none to rescue. The reading is from the book of Isaiah, the glorious prophet, Barak Moore. Listen to me, you who pursue righteousness and seek the Lord. Look to the solid rock which you hewed and to the hole of the pit which you dug. Look to Abraham, our father, and to Sarah who bore you, for he was first and I called and blessed him, and loved and multiplied him. And now I will comfort you, O Zion, and I comforted all her desert places, and I shall make her desert places like the garden of the Lord. In it shall find gladness and exceeding joy and thanksgiving and the voice of praise. Listen to me. Listen, O my people and kings, give ear to me, for law shall proceed from me, and my judgment as the light of the Gentiles. My righteousness draws near quickly, and my salvation will go forth as light, and the Gentiles will hope in my arm, and the coastlands shall wait for me and hope in my arm. Lift up your eyes to heaven and look to the earth below, for heaven is solid as smoke, and the earth will grow like a garment, and the inhabitants of the earth shall die, as do these things. But my salvation shall be forever, and my righteousness will not fail. Listen to me, my people who know judgment, in whose heart is my law. 
Do not fear the reproach of men, nor be overcome by their contempt. For as, gar for as garment will be devoured by time, and as wool will be de devoured by a moth, so shall they be devoured. But my righteousness shall be forever, and my salvation from generation to generation. But more. Please stand. Those who are prepared to receive the Holy Qurbana, please meditate on the prayer of absolution. Barak, may God have mercy upon you. May he guide you to everlasting life through the authority of priesthood which is entrusted by our Lord Jesus Christ to his apostles, who in turn entrusted to the high priest until has given us, we who are weak and sinful. Absolve your brothers and sisters of all the sins that you have confessed and repented of, as of all, all the transgressions which have escaped your memory. Barak, in the name of the Father. Amen and the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit for everlasting life. May the past of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be for the mission of our deaths and the forgiveness of our sins. And which says the Holy Virgin Mary, the Theotokos, and all the saints, also be for the forgiveness of our sins. Amen. Amen. Page 154, page 154. From the ranks of our watcher flew
against you. May they be supplicants to you on our behalf. O oh Lord, have mercy upon us all. By the prayers of your mother and those of For our fallen human race Who did become incarnate Of the pure virgin The holy and glorious Theotokos He became man without change And was crucified for us Christ who is our Lord and God He trampled death by His death And destroyed our death And He is one of the Holy Trinity Worshipped and praised equally With His Father and Spirit Have mercy upon us all. Holy art thou, O God. Holy art thou, Almighty. Holy art thou, Immortal. Crucified for us, have mercy on St. Peter the Apostle, Barak Timor. Glory be to the Lord the Apostle, and may his mercy be upon us forever. My beloved husbands, likewise dwell with them with understanding, giving honor to the wife as to the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers may not be hindered. Finally, all of you be of one mind, having compassion for one another. Love as brothers, be tender-hearted, be courteous, not returning evil for evil or reviling for reviling, but on the contrary, blessing, knowing that you were called for this, that you may inherit a blessing. For he who would love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. Let him turn away from, the, from evil and do good. 
Let him seek peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. And who is he who will harm you if become follower if you become followers of what is good? But even if you should suffer for righteousness sake, you are blessed, and do not be afraid of their threats nor their troubles. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, that always be ready to give defense to everyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you, with meekness and fear. Barak Yamar. I have heard Paul, the blessed apostle, say, if any man or angel teaches a gospel to you, doctrines are springing forth from all sides. Blessed is he who begins and ends in the Lord's teaching. The reading is from the letter of St. Paul, the Apostle to the Hebrews, Baruch Mon. Glory be to the Lord, the Apostle, and may his mercy be upon us forever. My brethren, God, who at various times and in various ways spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us by his Son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, though whom has also he made the world, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding of all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become so much better than the angels, as he has by his inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. For to which of the angels did he ever say, You are my son, today I have begotten you. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. But when he again brings the firstborn into the world, he says, let all the angels of God worship him. And of, the, of all the angels, he says, who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire? But to the son, he says, your throne of God is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is in the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated lawlessness. Therefore, God, your God has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions. And you, Lord, in the beginning laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you remain, and they will grow old like a garment. Like a cloak, you will fold them up, and they will be changed. But you are the same, and your years will not fail. But to which of the angels has he ever said, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool? Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for those who will inherit salvation? Therefore we must give the more earnest heed to the things we have heard, lest we drift away. For if the word spoken through the angels prove steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience received a just reward, how shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? for which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord, which was confirmed to us by those who heard him. God also bearing witness, both with signs and wonders, with various miracles and gifts of the Holy Spirit, according to his own will. Barak Mor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Offer him sacrifices of praise, bring pure offerings, and enter the courts of the Lord, and worship the Lord before His holy altar. fear and purity, let us attend and listen to the good news of the living words of God. 
from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ that is being read to us. Baruch Mor, peace be unto you all. May the Lord God make us worthy with your spirit. The Holy Gospel of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ, the life-giving proclamation from St. John the Apostle, who proclaims life and salvation to the world. Blessed is he who has come and is to come. Glory be to him who sent him for our salvation. And may his mercy be upon us all forever. Now, during the time of the incarnation of our Lord and our God and our Savior Jesus Christ, the Word of God, God who took flesh from the Holy Virgin Mary, these things did thus come to pass in this manner. We believe and confess. The Gospel according to St. John, chapter 1, verses 43 to 51. The following day, Jesus wanted to go to Galilee, and he found Philip, and he said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him of whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. And Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming towards him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you when you were sitting under the fig tree. Nathanael answered and said to him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, Most assuredly I say to you, Hereafter you shall see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Which I know, slow, Page number 333. Three, three, three. Kadrugale or theodavatil Vetinu Magaratil Mundiri Pradichingatil Peruna Muni Arsham Thorum Pagyavati Spradial Goshi Kerna. Namaskar, 
ഞങ്ങളെ സഹായിക്കണമേ സ്തുതിയും സ്തോത്രവും പ്രാഭവും പുകഴ്ചയും മാഞ്ഞു പോകാത്തതായ എല്ലാ നല്ല ഉന്നതിയും എല്ലായ്പ്പോഴും സദാ നേരവും ഇടപെടാതെ കരയേറ്റുവാൻ അടിയങ്ങളെ നാഥ നിയോഗ്യതയുള്ളവരാക്കണമേ പാപപരിഹാരം നൽകുന്നവനും പരിശുദ്ധമായ ബലിയും തന്നെ തന്നെ ഞങ്ങളുടെ പാപങ്ങളെ വെടിപ്പാക്കുകയും തൻ്റെ യാഗത്താൽ ഭൂലോകത്തിന് പാപപരിഹാരം കൈവരുത്തുകയും ചെയ്തവനുമായി ഞങ്ങൾ വിശ്വസിച്ചേറ്റ് പറയുന്ന പ്രധാനാചാര്യനായ കർത്താവേശ് മിഷ്യാദംബരാനേ നിനക്ക് സ്തുതി നിനക്ക് സ്തോത്രം അങ്ങേക്കാർപ്പിതമല്ലാത്തതായ ഈ സ്തോത്രവലി അർപ്പിക്കപ്പെടുന്നതായ ഈ സമയത്തും സകല പെരുന്നാളുകളിലും നേരങ്ങളിലും നാഴികയിലും ഉടയവനെ അടിയങ്ങളുടെ ആയുഷ്കാലമൊക്കെയിലും സുതിയും ബഹുമാനോ ആരാധനയും ആധിപത്യവും അവിടത്തേക്ക് യോഗ്യമാകുന്നു മുഗുലോഹന്യോമോ സ്വതഹായ ബലിപീഠത്തിന്റെ മുൻപാകെയും ദിവ്യവും സ്വർഗീയമായ ഈ വിശുദ്ധ രഹസ്യങ്ങളുടെ മുൻപാകെയും ഭയങ്കരമായ ഈ വിശുദ്ധ കുർബാനയുടെ മുൻപാകെയും ബഹുമാനപ്പെട്ട ഈ ആചാരന കൈകളാൽ കുന്തറയ്ക്കും വയ്ക്കപ്പെടുന്നു നാം എല്ലാവരും നമസ്കരിച്ച കർത്താവ് നിന്ന് കരുണയും മനോഗുണവും യാചിക്കണം ഹൈനസ് <laughs> my many great and innumerable sins and the sins of all your faithful people spare us o good one and have mercy upon us remember us o lord our god in your mercy and remember o lord the souls of our fathers and mothers our brothers and sisters our leaders and our teachers and our departed and all the faithful departed the children of your holy and glorious church grant rest to all to their souls spirits and bodies sprinkle the dew of your grace and compassion on their bones you o lord be the absolution and the absolver to them and for us o lord O Christ our king our lord and master the lord of glory answer us my lord come to our aid and help us save us and accept our prayers and supplications remove o god in your mercy all severe punishments abolish forbid and remove from us all sorts of rods of wrath make us all worthy of a good and holy end which you have kept for your children of peace grant us a christian end which is dear proper and pleasing to your divinity again make us all worthy of a pleasant end and to you we offer unceasing praise and thanksgiving now and always and forever and ever amen barakho madavila de mahaniyana yadinde pidavil ninna jaadanavuvim kaalathiga vingal swargath nirangi vanna vivaha sparshana mel kaatha madavil ninna ശാരീരിക പിതാവില്ലാതെ ജാതനാകുകയും 
ബേദുൽഹേമോ ഫുർദായിൽ കാണപ്പെടുകയും യുർദ്നാൻ നദീ തന്നെ വാഞ്ചിക്കുകയും ചെയ്തവനായ സ്വർഗീയ കുഞ്ഞാടായി ശിമിഷാദംബരാനെ നിനക്ക് സ്തുതി നിനക്ക് സ്തോത്രം സ്ലീബാ മരത്തിന്മേൽ മനസ്സോട് ബലിയർപ്പിക്കപ്പെടുകയും മൺമേർക്ക ഭക്ഷണമായി തീരുകയും തൻ്റെ ബലിയർപ്പണം മൂലം വിജാതീർക്കും സ്വജാതീർക്കും പാപപരിഹാരം നൽകുകയും തൻ്റെ മരണം മൂലം തലമുറകളെയും കുടുംബങ്ങളെയും വംശങ്ങളെയും ജീവിപ്പിക്കുകയും ചെയ്തവനുമായ കന്യകയാകുന്ന പെണ്ണാടിൻ്റെ കുട്ടിയായ കുഞ്ഞാടായ മിഷ്യാദംബ്രാനെ ഈ ദിവ്യബലി നിനക്ക സമർപ്പിക്കുന്നതായ ഈ സമയത്ത് ഞങ്ങളുടെ ബലഹീനതയിൽ നീ തൃക്കൺ പാർക്കണമേ ഞങ്ങളുടെ കൂടെയും ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഇടയിലും നീ വസിക്കണമേ നിന്റെ ദൈവത്വത്തിന് വെടിപ്പുള്ള ആലയങ്ങളായി തീരുവാ ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഹൃദയങ്ങളെയും മനസ്സുകളെയും നീ ശുദ്ധീകരിക്കണമേ സ്വർഗീയ സേനകളിൽ നിന്ന പോലെ ഞങ്ങളിലും നീ ആവസിച്ച പ്രീതിപ്പെടുമാറാകണമേ കാരുണ്യവാനായ കർത്താവേ നിന്റെ പരിശുദ്ധ ശരീരം വിലയേറിയതായ നിന്റെ രക്തം ഞങ്ങൾ അനുഭവിക്കുന്നത് മൂലം പാപത്തിൻ്റെ സകലം ഉൾപ്പെടർപ്പും ഞങ്ങളുടെ അവയവങ്ങളിൽ നിന്നും ദഹിച്ചു പോകുവാൻ ഇടയാക്കണമേ നിന്റെ പരിശുദ്ധ ശരീരവും പുണ്യപ്രദമായ തിരുരക്തവും ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ജീവൻ്റെ പുളിമാവും ജീവൻ്റെ അച്ചാരവുമായി ഭവിക്കണമേ ഞങ്ങളും സത്യവിശ്വാസത്തോടെ നിന്റെ ശരണത്തിൽ നിന്ന് പ്രാപിച്ചിട്ടുള്ളവരായ വിശ്വാസികളായി ഞങ്ങൾ വാങ്ങിപ്പോയവരും നിനക്കും നിന്റെ പിതാവിനും നിന്റെ പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവിനും ഇപ്പോഴും അല്ല ഇപ്പോഴും എന്നേക്കും സുധീം സ്തോത്രവും സമർപ്പിക്കുമാറാകണമേ ഓഷോ വാക്കുല ശുശ്രൂഷ കൈകൊള്ളുകയും അവിടുത്തെ പ്രാർത്ഥന ഞങ്ങളെ സഹായിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുമാറാകട്ടെ ഫിയ <laughs> 
what they offer us come in. Let us all stand well and respond to the prayer of the reverend priest and sing. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in the one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father, before all worlds, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not me, being the one essence of the Father, and by whom all things are made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and became man, and was crucified for us in the days of Pontius Pilate, and suffered and died, and was buried, and the third day he rose again, according to his will, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of his Father, and shall come again in his great glory, to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end, and in the one living Holy Spirit, the life-giving Lord of all, who proceeds from the Father, and who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets and the apostles, and in the one holy Catholic and apostolic church, and we confess one baptism for the remission of sins, and look for the resurrection of the dead, and the new life in the world to come. Amen. My beloved ones, pray for us that the Lord may accept the sacrifice that we offer to Him this day. This is the time of prayer and the time of forgiveness. This is the time of mercy, the time of supplication. This is the time when the priest ascends the step of the throne to offer this sacrifice for the souls to receive it. This is the time beloved which is full of compassion this is now the time in which we shall give peace in true I 
among us fill us with your love and kindness all the days of our lives so that we may unceasingly offer you praise and thanksgiving to you your only begotten son and your holy spirit one god now and always and forever and ever to you all and to your spirit Baruch Mor, let us give peace to one another everyone to his neighbor with the holy and divine kiss and the love of our Lord and our God O oh Lord God make, make us, us worthy of this peace all the days of our life let us embrace each other with the peace of our Lord God, may it abide with us now, always and forevermore. And may His peace and good will protect us now and all. Said love one another, may your love abide in us now and all eternity. Glory be to God on high and on earth, peace to mankind. After this holy and divine has been given let us all bow our heads before the merciful lord we bow our heads before you our lord and our god we bow ourselves before you O lord our god and we beseech you with all of our brokenness so that you may bless us all with your blessings which grants life to those who are distressed so that we may offer you unceasing praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and to your Holy Spirit, one God, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Look upon us, O Lord, incline your ear towards us, Hear the prayer of us, your poor servants. Shine the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. At this time, when we celebrate these holy mysteries, may these mysteries be for the absolution of our debts and for the forgiveness of our sins, so that we may offer you unceasing praise and thanksgiving to you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, one God, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. But of more, let us stand well, let us stand with fear, let us stand with modesty. Let us stand with purity, let us stand in holiness, 
Let us all, my brothers and sisters, stand in love and true faith. Let us spiritually behold with the fear of God and look upon this awe-inspiring and holy anaphora, which is set before us by the hands of this reverend priest, who, in peace and tranquility, offer this living sacrifice on our behalf to God the Father, the Lord of all. This anaphora is mercy, peace, sacrifice, and thanksgiving. May the love of God, the Father, the grace of His only begotten Son, the fellowship and indwelling of the life-giving Holy Spirit be with you all, my brethren, now and always and forever and ever. Amen and to your spirit. Up above our Christ, our Lord, sits at the right hand of God the Father. Let all our minds, our thoughts, and hearts be at this time. Our minds, our thoughts, and our hearts are with the Lord God. Let us give thanks to the Lord with fear and trembling. It is me. Extol and glorify your hidden magnificence. We, your sinful servants, in a loud voice cry out and say, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, by whose glory the heaven and earth are filled, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who has come and is to come in the name of the Lord God. Glory be to him in the highest. When he was prepared to willingly fulfill the passion, our Lord took bread in his holy hands, and after he gave thanks to the Father, he blessed and sanctified Barakumor Bare apostles and said take eat of this this is my body which is broken for you and for many and is given to you as the provision for life eternal well hi After supper, our Lord took the cup mixed with wine and water. He gave thanks and blessed. Barakhamor barak. sanctified it and gave it to his holy disciples and said to them, Take drink of this. This is my blood which is given to you and for many. 
and is given for the absolution of death and for life eternal. Walhai zalaulam unni. Entrusting these holy mysteries to his holy apostles, he commanded them, Whenever you commemorate these mysteries, remember and make memory of my death and resurrection until I come again. Adamo do seno. We commemorate your death, O Lord, and we confess your resurrection, and we await your second coming. May your mercy be upon us all. O Lord, we obey your commandments. We recall your entire plan for our salvation and look for and expect your fearful second coming. When you sit on the fearful and frightening throne, do not remember our sins but rather look at us with a compassionate eye. Spare us, O Lord, and have mercy upon us all. For the sake of these, your holy church and your flock beseeches you and through you and with your Father, say, Have mercy upon us, O God, Father Almighty. We, O Lord, your weak and sinful servants, thank you and acknowledge your loving kindness on behalf of all that you do for us. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, and we beseech you. O Lord God, O good one, have compassion and mercy upon us. But a more, how solemn is this hour, and how awesome is this time, my beloved, where the living Holy Spirit takes wing and descends from the most elevated heights of heaven and broods and rests upon this Eucharist which is offered, sanctifying Him in stillness and fear. Let us stand and pray. May peace be with us and tranquility be unto us all. Answer me, O Lord. Answer me, O Lord. Answer me. Have compassion and mercy upon us all. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Holy Spirit descend and mystically hover over this bread and complete and perfect this bread and make it into the body of Christ our God. Amen. May the Holy Spirit descend and mystically complete and perfect this time to be the blood of Christ our God. So that these holy mysteries may protect and be fortress for those who partake of them and that it may become an invitation to the heavenly kingdom by the grace, mercy, and love for humanity of your only begotten Son, through whom and with whom glory and honor belong to you and to your Holy Spirit 
now and always and forever. For all the spiritual fathers, our leaders who are appointed over us this day and in this life to shepherd and govern the holy churches of God in the four quarters of the world. Our holy, reverend, and blessed patriarchs, our father, more Ignatius, and our father, more Basilios, our father, more Gregorios, and our bishop, our father, more Ibanios who are being upheld by God, along with all the other Orthodox bishops and spiritual fathers. Let us beseech the Lord. Kree-la-i-so. Kartha-ve-nyang-da-bel-hi-na-madhyastha-dayil-in-na-ar-kwe-ndi-kurbana-ar-pichurikindu-o. Ayavareyum marpikyuan kariyadu poyavareyum Thirunbhaagay kol nyangal orukkunnu Ni grubayode avarada grubaneyum Vajibadukuleyum prarthanakaleyum kaikullanamay Nyangalai vidveshikinna shatrukkal ninnum Nyangalai ni irachikivayum chayanamay Nyangal ninakkum ninde ekajadunum Ninde parishuddharu haikim Idavida adhistudim stotrum samarupikinnu हो शो अकुल सुबान लवली Barakimor, again, O Lord, we remember all our brothers and sisters, the faithful and true Christians who have entreated and earnestly requested us, though we are weak and humble, to remember them at this hour and at this time, and on behalf of all those who have fallen in all kinds of hard trials and who have taken refuge in you, we pray, Lord God Almighty, that they soon may be delivered and visited by you, and on behalf of this church preserved by God for the unity and prosperity of all her faithful children, that they may abound in virtue. Let us beseech the Lord. ശിക്ഷകളിൽ <laughs> ും <laughs> 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 ക്രിസ്ത്യാനി സമഭം മുഴുവനും സുഹൃത്തുമുള്ളായി തീരുവാനായിട്ട് കർത്താവിനോട് നാം പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കണം കർത്താവെ വിശ്വാസപൂർവ്വം നിന്നെ വിളിക്കുന്നവർക്ക് നിവേഗത്തിൽ ഉത്തരമറിയണമേ പാപങ്ങളുടെ ശിക്ഷാവിധിയിൽ നിന്ന് ഞങ്ങളെല്ലാവരെയും നിരക്ഷിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യണമേ the holy glorious and blessed ever virgin and blissful mary the mother of god along with her let us remember the prophets and the apostles the preachers and the evangelists the martyrs and the confessors let us also remember saint john the baptist 
the forerunner of his master, and the illustrious Saint Stephen, chief of the deacons and first of the martyrs, along with the exalted chiefs of the apostles, Saint Peter and Saint Paul, and also our father Saint Thomas, the apostle to India. Let us remember together the whole company of the saints, both men and women. May their prayers be a refuge for us. Let us beseech the Lord. <laughs> സമർപ്പിക്കുന്നു <laughs> അക്കൂല സുഭാഷ്ലൈകവും കുറ്റമില്ലാത്തതുമായ ഏക വിശ്വാസത്തെ പാലിച്ച് ഞങ്ങൾ കേൾപ്പിച്ച് തന്നവരായ ശ്രുതിമാന്മാരുടെ സ്ഥലത്ത് ശുദ്ധതയോട് മുൻപ് കൂട്ടി നിന്ന് പ്രാപിച്ച് വിശ്രമിക്കുന്നവരെയും നിഖ്യായരും കുസ്തന്തീനോ പോലീസിനും എഫ് എ സി ഹൗസിനും വെച്ചുണ്ടായ പുണ്യപ്പെട്ടവയും പരിശുദ്ധങ്ങളുമായ മൂന്ന് പൊതു സുനഹദോസുകളെയും അവയിലുണ്ടായിരുന്ന നീതിമാന്മാരും അൽപ്പാന്മാരും സ്തുതിക്കപ്പെട്ടവരും ദൈവത്തെ ധരിച്ചവരുമായ ഞങ്ങളെ പിതാക്കന്മാരെയും ഓർഷ്ണേമിൻ്റെ ഒന്നാമത്തെ പ്രധാനാചാര്യനും പുണ്യവാനും സ്നേഹായും സഹതായമായ യാക്കോബും ഇഗ്നാത്യോസും ക്ലീമീസും ദീവനാസ്യോസും വചനമായ ദൈവം ശരീരിയായി തീർന്നുവെന്ന് നമ്മുടെ കർത്താവ് യേശു മിഷിഹായുടെ മനുഷ്യാവതാരത്തെ കുറിച്ച് സ്പഷ്ടമായി തെളിച്ചവനും സത്യവാനുമെന്ന ഗോപുരവുമായ പ്രസിദ്ധനായ മോർക്കൂരിനോസും സുറിയാനിക്കാരുടെ കിരീടവും ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ വിശുദ്ധ സഭ മുഴുവൻ്റെയും വിവേകമുള്ള വായും തൂണും മൽപ്പാനും പുഷ്പങ്ങൾ കൊണ്ട് നിറഞ്ഞ മേച്ചൽ സ്ഥലവും മറിയാം സംശയം കൂടാതെ ദൈവമാതാവിനെല്ലായ്പ്പോഴും പ്രസംഗിച്ചവനുമായ ഞങ്ങളെ പാത്രിയാർക്കി സ്മോർസേവേരിയോസും സത്യവിശ്വാസത്തെ നിലനിർത്തിയ നീതിമാനും പരിശുദ്ധനുമായ ഞങ്ങളെ ബാബ മുറിയാക്കുമോ പുറതാനായും തെരഞ്ഞെടുക്കപ്പെട്ട മലങ്കരയുടെ പരിശുദ്ധന്മാരായ മോർഗോറിയോസും മോർദീവനാസ്യോസുമായ ഞങ്ങളുടെ പിതാക്കന്മാരെയും ചോളതും കുറ്റമില്ലാത്തതുമായ ഏക വിശ്വാസത്തെ പാലിച്ച് ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഏൽപ്പിച്ചു തന്നവരായി ഇവരുടെ മുമ്പും ഇവരോട് കൂടിയും ഇവരുടെ പെമ്പുള്ളവരെയും ഞങ്ങൾ ഓർക്കുന്നു അവരുടെ പ്രാർത്ഥന നമുക്ക് കോട്ടയായിരിക്കട്ടെ കർത്താവിനോട് നാം യാചിക്കണം സഭയിൽ ശരിയായ സുവിശേഷം പ്രസംഗിച്ചിട്ടുള്ളവരെ നീ ഓർത്തോളണമേ സ്വീകാര്യോഗ്യമായ അവരുടെ പ്രാർത്ഥനകളാൽ ഞങ്ങളോട് കർണി ഉണ്ടാകുകയും ചെയ്യണമേ കരുണയോട് നീ ഞങ്ങളെ സഹായിച്ച് അവരുടെ സംഘങ്ങളിൽ ഞങ്ങളെയും ഉൾപ്പെടുത്തുകയും ചെയ്യണമേ ഞങ്ങൾ നിനക്കും നിന്റെ ഏകജാതനും നിന്റെ പരിശുദ്ധ റോഹായിക്കും ഇടപെടാതെ സ്തുതിയും സ്തോത്രവും സമർപ്പിക്കുന്നു ഹോഷോ 
Those faithful departed who in the true faith have before us fallen asleep are at rest and have gone to you, O God the Father, the Lord of both the spirits and of all the flesh. Let us pray and beseech Christ our God, who has received to himself their spirits and their souls, that he may according to his abundant mercy make them worthy of the absolution of death and the forgiveness of sins, and that he may lead both us and them to his heavenly kingdom. Unite and mingle, O Lord, our names and the names of our departed ones. With the names of your saints, do not remember our offenses, because there is no one entangled with flesh who is free from sin, except your only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, through whom we also hope to find mercy and forgiveness of debts and sins, for the sake of Christ our Lord, both for us and for them. O God, absolve, pardon, and forgive all our offenses, which both we and our departed have committed against you, willingly and unwillingly, knowingly and unknowingly. We, your sinful and poor servants, beg and supplicate you, O Lord. Stretch forth your mighty hand and help us. Save us that we do not fall into the snares of sin. Prepare us that we stand before you without shame. Lead us and our departed ones to the imperishable banquet, so that here and there we may praise and extol your venerable and holy name, and your only begotten Son, and your Holy Spirit, one God, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen, as it was in the beginning, and is and shall be, from generation to generation, for all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Barakor, peace. Unto you all. and to your spirit. May the grace and mercies of our great God and our Savior Jesus Christ be with you all, my brethren, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. At the door of your mercy knocks the voice of our prayer. Have mercy 
Lord, have mercy. O Lord, God, remember not. Hallelujah. By your great loving kindness, the Beseech the Lord. Baruch Moore, my brethren, let us always pray to the Lord that by his mercy we may be accounted worthy of the angel of peace and tranquility, mercy and compassion. Grant us, O Lord, by your mercy. Baruch that there be peace to the churches and welfare to the monasteries, gracious preservation to their priests and prosperous times to their members. My brethren, let us always beseech the Lord. Grant us peace, O Lord, by your mercy. Baruch remember, O Lord, in your mercy all those who are sick and afflicted, the bound and the oppressed, the wailing and the lost, the orphans and the widows, the poor and those who are trapped in various difficulties. Remember especially those who are celebrating their birthdays this week. Grant them your abundant grace that they may continuously glorify you throughout their lives and that they may grow in love, joy, and long life. Remember also, Lord, all your children who are celebrating their wedding anniversaries. Grant them your help to protect the sacredness of family life through mutual love, care, and the spirit of partnership. O oh Lord, hear, hear our, our prayers, prayers in your mercy, committing our lives into the hands of the Lord. Let us all And by those below, and by the spiritual and earthly beings, you are unceasingly extolled. We, your weak and wretched servants, supplicate you and beseech your compassion. Cleanse us from our wickedness and stain of sin, so that with a pure and sincere heart we may call out to you and pray and say the prayer your only begotten Son taught us. We pray with Our broken Father. yet hopeful hearts and say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts and sins, as we also have forgiven our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Oh God, the Father Almighty, have mercy upon us and pour out your abundant mercy on us. Save us, O Lord, from the evil one and all his wickedness. Be a guardian and a deliverer to us from all evil and wicked people. We offer praise and thanksgiving to you, to your only begotten Son and to your Holy Spirit, one God, now and always and forever. to you all and to your spirit. Baruch Amor, before 
receiving these holy mysteries that are offered, let us again bow our heads before the merciful Lord. We bow our heads before you, our Lord and our God. Look upon us, O Lord, for we are the work of your hands. O Lord, we have bowed our heads before you, and we await your mercy. As it is in your nature, answer our good requests so that we may offer you unceasing praise and thanksgiving. To you and your only begotten Son and to your Holy Spirit, one God, now and always and forever and ever. May the grace and mercies of the Holy Trinity, self-created, consubstantial, and of one essence, holy and adorable, be with you all, my brethren, now and always and forever. look on with fear and trembling. Absolve us, O Lord, and have mercy upon us all. Holy pain for the holy And the one Holy Spirit alone is holy. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the living Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. With all Who in his love created the world with us indeed? Amen. With us is the one holy Son who, by the precious suffering of his body, redeemed us all. With us indeed. life-giving Holy Spirit, who completes and perfects all that is and all that will be. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and always and forever and ever. With us indeed, Father's house, Hallelujah. 
Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Most respected and beloved Reverend Father P.M. Sherian Achin, most respected Christopher Achin, my beloved ones in Christ. Ere Sandosha Todum. വലിയ ആത്മീയ ആനന്ദത്തോടും കൂടെയാണ് നിങ്ങളോടൊപ്പം ഇന്ന് നിൽക്കുന്നത് പലവട്ടം ജെയിംസായിട്ടും പിന്നെ ഷമ്മാഷനായിട്ടും 
പിന്നെ ഇപ്പോൾ ആദ്യമായിട്ടാണ് ഈ ദേവാലയത്തിൽ അച്ഛനായിട്ട് വരുവാനും ദൈവം ഇടയാക്കിയായി വലിയ അവസരത്തെ ഓർത്ത് ദൈവത്തെ സ്തുതിക്കുന്നു അവസരം നൽകിയ ബഹുമാനപ്പെട്ട ചെറിയ അച്ഛനോടുള്ള പ്രത്യേക നന്ദിയും സ്നേഹവും ഈ അവസരത്തിൽ രേഖപ്പെടുത്തുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നു നാം ഇന്ന് വായിച്ചു കേട്ട വേദഭാഗം വിശുദ്ധ യോഹന്നാന്റെ സുവിശേഷം ഒന്നാം അധ്യായം നാൽപ്പത്തി മൂന്ന് മുതൽ അമ്പത്തി വരെ ഒമ്പത്തി ഒന്ന് വരെയുള്ള വാക്യങ്ങളാണ് ഗാസ്പൽ അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു സെയിൻ ജോൺ ചാപ്റ്റർ വൺ വേഴ്സസ് ഫോർട്ടി ത്രീ ടു ഫിഫ്റ്റി വൺ ടുഡേ ഇസ് എ വെരി സ്പെഷ്യൽ ഡേ ആസ് വെൽ ബിക്കോസ് ടുഡേ വി ഓൾസോ കമ്മൺ റേറ്റ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദ മെനി ഫെസ്റ്റിവൽസ് ഓഫ് സെയിൻ മാരി ദ ഫെസ്റ്റിവൽ ഓഫ് ദ ബ്ലെസ്സിംഗ് ഓഫ് ദ സീഡ്സ് Now, some of the times we might think, why do we need to bless the seeds? We often forget that most of our liturgy, most of the faith of the church, they came from simple people. They did not come from IT experts, they did not come from scientists, they did not come from lawyers, teachers, and all the high strata uh, people of the world. They came from farmers, they came from fishermen, they came from people who hunted, they, people, they came from people who did not have much in life but God and God alone. So when people came from an agrarian culture, when people came from an agrarian context, they began to submit and surrender everything into the hands of god into the hands of the mother of god and so today we celebrate one such festival which is the blessing of the seeds how does this festival and it is attributed to the mother of god how does this festival make sense in our time and our age we won't even remember the last time we walked on proper soil Do you remember the last time you walked on mud, on soil? We are so cut off from the earth. We are so cut off from the, this mother that nurtures us. I'm talking of the world. We are so cut off from nature. The only contact that we have with nature in our time and age is to destroy it. The moment we come with, the moment we come into contact, touch with anything that has to do with nature it is usually the destruction of god's created order and it is in the context of this destroying mentality that of god's creation that we celebrate the feast of the blessing of the seeds which is again handed on into the loving hands of the mother of god So how does this make sense? It makes sense in two ways. The first way is to pray for the nature. When was the last time we spent a few moments praying for the nature? If you pray, if you pay close attention to the prayers of the church. Adili sarva srishtikim vendi prarthikinna daya anubhavam. നമ്മുടെ ആത്മീയ സംസ്കാരത്തിൽ നിന്നും ഉളവാകുന്നതാണ് പക്ഷെ പലപ്പോഴും നമ്മുടെയൊക്കെ പ്രാർത്ഥനകൾ വളരെ ചുരുങ്ങിയ ചെറിയ സ്വപ്നങ്ങളുടെ സാക്ഷാത്കാരത്തിന് വേണ്ടി മാത്രമായിട്ട് നിലനിൽക്കുന്ന ഒരു കാര്യമാണ് നമ്മുടെയൊക്കെ പ്രാർത്ഥനകൾ പലപ്പോഴും അതിൽ നിന്നുമൊക്കെ ഉയരുവാനും അതിൽ നിന്നൊക്കെയും ഒന്ന് മാറ്റി ചിന്തിക്കുവാനും മറ്റുള്ളവർക്ക് വേണ്ടി മറ്റുള്ളവരെയും നമ്മുടെ ജീവിതത്തിലേക്ക് ഉൾപ്പെടുത്തുവാനും മറ്റുള്ളവർ മാത്രമല്ല സംസാരശക്തി ഇല്ലാത്ത പ്രകൃതിക്ക് വേണ്ടി പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുവാനും മനസ്സിനെ ഒരുക്കുവാൻ താല്പര്യപ്പെടുത്തുന്ന പെരുന്നാളാണ് വിത്തുകളുടെ ഈ പെരുന്നാള് അതുകൊണ്ട് ഈ ദിവസം എപ്പോഴായാലും ഒക്കെ ഒരല്പസമയം കുർബാന കഴിഞ്ഞോ എപ്പോഴായാലും ഒരിച്ചിരി സമയം ഇവിടെയൊക്കെ ശാന്തമായിട്ടിരുന്ന ഈ സൃഷ്ടി മുഴുവനെയും ദൈവസന്നിധിയിൽ സമർപ്പിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കണം ഈ സൃഷ്ടിയോട് ചെയ്യുന്ന ദ്രോഹത്തെ ഓർത്ത് മാപ്പപേക്ഷിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുന്ന വലിയ പെരുന്നാളായിട്ട് നമുക്കിതിനെ കാണാം ഇനിയും രണ്ടാമത്തെ ഒരു ചിന്ത വി ഡോൺ സോ സീഡ്സ് ഐ ഡോ നോ ഇൻ ടെക്സസ് യു മൈ ഹാവ് ബട്ട് വി കം ഫ്രോ ഐ കം ഫ്രോം ഒഹായോ വി ഓൺലി ഗെറ്റ് എ ഫ്യൂ മന്ത്സ് ഓഫ് സമ്മർ ആൻഡ് സോ ദർ ഇസ് ഓൺലി എ ഫ്യൂ മന്ത്സ് ദറ്റ് യു ക്യാൻ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ് into any sort of agrarian activities but 
what are the other seeds that we sow? Our children are our seeds. ദൈവം തമ്പരാൻ ജീവിതത്തിൽ കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങൾ തന്നിട്ടുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അത് നമ്മുടെ വിത്തുകളാണ് ആ വിത്തുകളെയൊക്കെ എങ്ങനെയൊക്കെയാണ് വളർത്തിയെടുക്കുന്നത് എന്നൊന്ന് സൂക്ഷ്മമായി ചിന്തിക്കുവാൻ ഈ ദിവസം ഒന്ന് മാറ്റി വെക്കാം അവർ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ആർ അവർ സീഡ്സ് ഹൗ ആർ വി വാട്ടറിംഗ് ദം ഹൗ ആർ വി നേർച്ചറിംഗ് ദം ഹൗ ആർ വി ടേക്കിംഗ് കെയർ ഓഫ് ദം ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് ജസ്റ്റ് ദ പ്രൊവിഷൻ ഓഫ് ഫുഡ് water and shelter that you give them it's not just the provision of education that you give them it's not the provision of working two jobs and having huge mortgages and giving them all the comfort that you never had in your life that's not all the provisions that you can give them have you given them the provision have you given them the idea at least the idea of life eternal do our children have the concept that there is life beyond this materialistic world if they fall short then it is not their fault it will come to us and so today let us use these moments to ask the mother of god to ask god to bless these children who are our seeds what else can be our seeds everything about us is a sowing experience Every word that comes out of our mouth is a seed being sowed. Every action that we engage in is a seed being sowed. Every activity that we engage in, every chit-chat that we engage in, every email that we send, every WhatsApp text message that we send, every forward that we send is a seed that you are sowing in the mind, in the life of somebody else. Are those good seeds? Are those any good? Or are we becoming places? Are we becoming the source of, of spreading nonsense in this world? are we becoming the source of spreading poison in this world in the minds of those around us so let us look upon this festival and submit ourselves into the loving caring nurturing nourishing hands of the mother of god let us ask our mother the holy theotokos to bless the seeds that are our children to bless our seeds that are our words our thoughts our actions and may we become good farmers may we become imitators of the good shepherd the good sower who sows good seeds in every place that he comes in contact with the gospel portion we read this morning is from st john chapter 1 verses 43 to 51 this is given to us by the fathers of our church who saw it fitting to be read on the second sunday after the epiphany of our lord and savior jesus christ epiphany the word means revelation of god and in the very recent past we celebrated denaha pirunal denaha pirunalil undaya veliya sangathi ദൈവത്തെ പറ്റി ഊഹാബോഹങ്ങൾ മാത്രമേ ഉള്ളായിരുന്നു ഈ ഊഹാബോഹങ്ങളിൽ ജീവിക്കുന്ന ലോകത്തിന് കർത്താവിൻ്റെ ദനഹാ പെരുന്നാൾ വഴിയായി എന്നേക്കുമായിട്ട് വിശ്വാസത്തെ സ്ഥിതീകരിക്കുവാൻ വേണ്ടി പിതാവും പുത്രനും പരിശുദ്ധ റൂഹായുമായ പരിശുദ്ധ തൃപ്തമാകുന്നു ദൈവം എന്നുള്ള വലിയ സത്യം ഈ വെളിപാട് വഴിയായി ലോകത്തെ അറിയിക്കുകയാണ് that is what we call as the revelation of god the epiphany there are general epiphanies that will happen and then there will be private epiphanies that will happen in our lives poduvilulla pala velibaadukal namakku undavarunde edengilokke news okke thodarna election samayathokke ഏതെങ്കിലുമൊക്കെ ന്യൂസ് തുറന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ നമുക്ക് മനസ്സിലാകും പലരെ പറ്റിയുള്ള വെളിപാടുകൾ അത് ജനറലായിട്ട് ഇങ്ങനെ വരുന്നത് 
that is all negative. Sometimes there are positives too. I haven't heard much. So there are general revelations that happen to everybody. But then there are revelations that happen at a very personal level. What are these revelations? Ere naalgal, ingane prarthikya adiri kinnu oru manushina. Pettan oru devasan thonuva. Eda yaan devathil ninnu mari agandha nikinnu varanalo. Devo yaanu mai thola bentham. ഒന്നുകൂടെ ഒന്ന് നന്നാക്കിയെടുക്കാൻ പറ്റുമോ ഇല്ലയോ എന്നൊക്കെ വിചാരിച്ച് കുറച്ചു നേരം ഒരിക്കലും പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാത്ത മനുഷ്യൻ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാനിരിക്കുന്നു അത് ദൈവം അദ്ദേഹത്തിന് കൊടുക്കുന്ന പേഴ്സണലായിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു എപ്പിഫിനിയാണ് മോസ്റ്റ് എപ്പിഫിനീസ് ദാറ്റ് ഷുഡ് ഹാപ്പൻ ഓൺ എ പേഴ്സണൽ ലെവൽ ഹാസ് എ ഹ്യൂജ് കോൺട്രാസ്റ്റ് between what you will see in the outside world and even within different christian denominations most of the times if you look at christian epiphanies outside of the apostolic context they are not that great epiphanies that are given over the television by televangelists epiphanies that come in all these different forms of of medias that's not a true epiphany because true epiphany happened to the rich young man the rich young man went to jesus and said good teacher what should i do to inherit life eternal they have this wonderful conversation this rich young man has been so much more better than all of us combined he has been following the commands of god from a very young age but when he stands in the presence of god god looks at him christ looks into his eye and the first thing he says is ninnil oru kuravunda you lack something this is something that none of us like to hear do we like to hear this we would all like to hear good things about us we would all like to hear positive things about us we live in a very strange time i'm not sure if you're sensing the pulse of the culture around us everything has become sensitive everything has become untouchable you should not be talking about anything at all because if you are talking about anything you will end up hurting somebody's feelings you have to be absolutely politically correct you have to be diplomatic you have to be all sorts of good even when you don't mean it why do you think we have come here why do you think has our culture has come to a juncture where we cannot identify where we cannot distinguish where we cannot differentiate between light and darkness we have lost the ability to understand what is good and bad we have lost the ability to understand what brings life and what brings death we have lost the ability to choose wisely why how did we come here it's because we have been sugar coating everything around us in the name of encouragement in the name of inspiration in the name of all sorts of other nonsense back in the day there was a wonderful saying in english you don't need a mirror if you have a good friend kedittundo nalla suhurthu undengil oru kannadiyude aavashyam illa kannadi orikkilum nammalodu kallam parayovalla parayuvo 
If you have a bandage on your face, if you have a scar on your face, if you have dirt on your face, and you look and you stand in front of a mirror, the mirror will not hide that bandage. The mirror will not hide the scar. The mirror will not hide the dirt on your face, does it? No. So what did we do? We invented phones. We invented smartphones with filters on it. So now you can have the most stupid face, you'll still look beautiful. Everybody's laughing, it hit somewhere. Isn't it? Every time when we go somewhere, we need to mask ourselves. Back in the day, you only had to talk about makeup only to the women. Now men have their own genre of makeup. We don't talk much about it, but it's true. Have you seen the amount of products for men these days? Beard oil, beard... I'm not saying that because I have a beard. Neither do I use any of these products. Beard oil, beard cream, beard that, beard this. Then you have special gels for the hair. All sermons we talk about you guys. You guys are the makeup people. Listen to our list now. Why are we engaging in this sort of an activity? Because we do not like to see the way we are. We do not like the way God made us. We are constantly struggling with our own selves, with our beauty. Our beauty is not enough for us. Our talents are not enough for us. Nothing about us is enough for us. This is one side of the spectrum. The other side of the spectrum, nothing was enough about us. 97 out of 100 Good job, my dear. Wonderful. Do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you will be able to do better next time. Don't give your children too much of pampering on one side of the spectrum. And don't give your children too much of hatred or too much of tough times. Not hatred, too much of tough times. There is a middle way. There is a balance about it. And I, I'm just talking about children because it's the beautiful festival of the seeds today. But it's not just children. It's just anybody for that matter. Friends, spouses, brothers and sisters, any relationship for that matter. You take any relationship. Do not put too much of buttering and honey bunny into it. And do not be too rude about it. And when you practice the middle way, you will practice genuine love. Genuine love is something that will bring others to us. Genuine love is something that will bring others to us. Thomas Leha Bharatil Ambati Randu Mudal Willya Kariangal Parayandodanyada. Ah Willya Kariangal Parnende. Anyaya Bhalamana in the Nyana Ningalum, you put a Houston, Texas, Lirikine, Loga Tinda Pala, the Shagalili Mirikina. Alle. It is because of the work of that one man, the Apostle of Christ. Our theology is the best. There is no theology on this earth, the Orthodox theology, that can beat the intensity, the mystical experience towards God. Our liturgy is the best for those who understand. It's so intense and deep. We have all these things. In spite of having all these things, what do we not have? Despite having all these wonderful things that we hold dear to ourselves in our faith, in our culture, in spite of having all these things, we are struggling to keep our own faithful in the faith. 
Now you might think that's the job of the priest. No. Yes, it is the job of the priest, but not entirely our job. It's the job of all of us. We are not able to keep our own people within our faith. And the excuses are just, the, the list is huge. Forget inviting people from the outside. Your church does not involve much in evangelization. Why? The bishop was smart. He said, I have to convert my own people first before I start preaching the gospel to others around me. Why is it that we are not able to be in the faith? Why is it that we fail to transmit our faith to those outside of this faith? Why is it that we constantly have so much of anguish in our churches? Why is it that we have so much of drama amongst us? Why is it that we have failed to grow beyond a brown church? We have everything. You have the best liturgy. You have the best theology. You have the best so-called culture. You have the best of everything. Where are we failing? Where are we failing? We are failing at one thing and one thing alone, and that is to experience and give love. And this is what Saint Paul teaches us. You can speak in the tongues of the angels. You are just a clamoring vessel. സ്നേഹം and that is what saint john the gospel writer later on in his epistle says god is love this is what we read in our gospel nathaniel finds sorry philip finds nathaniel the moment philip finds nathaniel he says nathaniel I have found the Messiah. Nathaniel has his own reservations about this. He has his own theology and perspectives on this. Because the first thing he says is, can anything good come out of Nazareth? He does not engage in a debate. Can anything good come out of Nazareth in the Chodhidhana? Tarakka illa. The only thing that Philip told Nathaniel was, Come and see. You are one of the people. One of the people. I was told that we have a lot of people. But we have a lot of people in the world. We have a lot of people in the world. We have a lot of people. കുടുംബം എന്തങ്ങളായാലും സഭാജീവിതമായാലും വിശ്വാസ ജീവിതമായാലും അടിസ്ഥാനപരമായ പല സ്ഥലങ്ങളിലും അതുപ്പതിച്ച് വീഴുന്ന അനുഭവമാണ് നമുക്കുള്ളത് അതിൻ്റെ അതിൻ്റെ അർത്ഥവും അതിൻ്റെ കാരണവും ഒന്ന് തന്നെയാണ് ക്രിസ്തുവിൻ്റെ അനുഭവം നമുക്കുണ്ടായിട്ടില്ല ക്രിസ്തുവിൻ്റെ അനുഭവം നമുക്കുണ്ടായിട്ടുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ തർക്കങ്ങളില്ല വാദങ്ങളില്ല ഷണ്ടയില്ല ബഹളമില്ല ധൈര്യത്തോടെ ആത്മധൈര്യത്തോടെ കോൺഫിഡൻസോടുകൂടെ വേറൊരാളോട് പറയാം വന്ന് കാണുക കം എൻ സി കം എൻ സി ഈയിടെ എൻ്റെ ഒരു സുഹൃത്തിനോട് ഞാൻ ചോദിച്ചു എന്നാ ഉണ്ട് അവിടെ വിശേഷം സുഹൃത്ത് നാട്ടിലെ ഒരു പള്ളിയിലെ വികാരിയായിട്ടിരിക്കുക 
എന്നെ ഉണ്ട് വിശേഷത്തിന് അച്ഛൻ എന്നോട് തിരിച്ചു മറുപടി പറഞ്ഞത് ഫിലിപ്പ് നഥാനിയോട് പറഞ്ഞ സംഗതി തന്നെയാണ് എൻ്റെ അച്ഛ ഇവിടുത്തെ പൂരം വന്ന് കാണണം അതിപ്പോൾ നാട്ടിലെ ഒരു ദേവാലയത്തെ അവസ്ഥ മാത്രമല്ല നമ്മുടെ എല്ലാ ദേവാലയങ്ങളിലും ഇങ്ങനെയുള്ള പൂരങ്ങൾ നടക്കാറുണ്ട് വാട്ട് എവർ ഫിലിപ് ടോൾ നെത്താനിയൽ വി ആർ ഓൾസോ ടെലിങ് ഈച്ച് അതർ ബട്ട് ഇൻ എ വെരി നെഗറ്റീവ് വേ അവർ ചിൽഡ്രൻ വിൽ സേ യു വോണ് സി സം ക്രൈസി സ്റ്റഫ് കം ടു ചർച്ച് യു വോണ് സി സം ക്രൈസി സ്റ്റഫ് കം ടു ദിസ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ലൊക്കേഷൻ Come and see, what are you inviting people for? What are you serving them? 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 Where there is Christ, where there is an experience of Christ, where there is an experience of the presence of Christ, you can confidently call anybody and say come and see come and see may our places that we engage in not just church every aspect of our lives whether it's our house whether it's our individual life whether it's our individual life can you imagine the confidence of saint paul when he says be like me പൗലോസ് ലിയ പറയുന്നുണ്ട് ഞാൻ ക്രിസ്തുവിനെ അനുകരിക്കുന്നത് പോലെ നിങ്ങൾ എന്നെ അനുകരിപ്പീൻ ആസ് ഐ ആം ദി ഇമിറ്റേറ്റർ ഓഫ് ക്രൈസ്റ്റ് യു ബി മൈ ഇമിറ്റേറ്റർ ക്യാൻ എനി ഡാഡ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡിംഗ് മീ നോട്ട് ജസ്റ്റ് യു ഗൈസ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡിംഗ് മീ ക്യാൻ എനി ഡാഡ് സ്റ്റാൻഡ് അപ്പ് ആൻഡ് ടെൽ ദർ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ആസ് ഐ ലിവ് യു ഷുഡ് ലിവ് ആസ് ഐ ഹാവ് ലിവ്ഡ് യു ഷുഡ് ലിവ് ക്യാൻ വി ഡു വി ഹാവ് ദാറ്റ് കോൺഫിഡൻസ് ക്യാൻ എനി മോം ലുക്ക് to their children and say this is how you should live look at my life <laughs> now comes the most difficult one can any action stand up and say look at my life and live like this can any child stand up and say look at my life live like this come and see where are we going and what are we being invited to and what are we inviting others for is a big question that stands before us all glory and honor be to the father son and holy spirit one god now and always and forever and ever amen charto lord be shall be called in righteousness and your saints in glory the lord swore to david in truth i will not turn away from you hallelujah oh hallelujah of the fruit of your body i will set upon your throne barak mo glory be to the father son and the holy spirit unto the of ages and forevermore may the faith which stood in the holy place in purity tread the gates of paradise and abide with the angels storm and chaos could I so of heaven those priests who have ministered your mysteries at the altar but a more those priests who have served you well lord grant them unveiled faces on the day of your coming lord have mercy upon us and help us upon the holy altar
altar to be placed on every priest who has served in purity. And the Father shows mercy to his children. Hallelujah. So the Lord shows mercy to those who fear him. As for man, his days are like grass. Hallelujah. Like the flower of the field, so he blooms but at morn. Glory be to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Unto the ages of ages and forevermore. May your living voice away. From the great to paradise, your servants who slept in hope and trusted in your mercy. The life giving King shall appear in his glory to restore life to the departed. From graves they will rise to offer praise together to the one who gives life to the Sweet are the words our Lord spoke in his gospel. He who receives my body and blood shall abide in me and shall have eternal life. On the last day I will raise him up. Lord, have mercy upon us and help us. from the dust that we may cry glory to you Lord make me worthy O Lord to receive thee with holiness that by the food of thy holy body my lust may be loved and by the drink of thy living chalice my passions may be quenched and by thee O Lord my God may I become worthy of the remission of my debts and the forgiveness of my sins my Lord and my God, forever and ever. Amen. Namrath Arthava, propitiating. Fiery call, the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is given to the true Orthodox believers for the remission of debts and for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Page 224. Page 224. Though the fire fear to gaze upon the Lord. You have seen him in bread and wine on the altar. If those clothed in lightning saw him, they Surrounded by holy 
host of angels is the altar Her which is fashioned like the cherubim's chariot On the altar is laid the body of the Son and Adam's children carry him upon their hands. In place of the rich one clothed in silk stands the priest who distributes alms and pearls to all those in need. If envy had existed among the angels, the cherubim would have indeed envied mankind. Where's all Open 
has promised and said, whoever eats my body and drinks my blood and believes in me shall abide in me and I in him, and I will raise him up on the last day. O Lord, I have eaten your holy body and drank your propitiating blood. May they not become to me for judgment nor vengeance, nor condemnation nor indictment, but for the remission of debts and the forgiveness of sins, and for the blessed resurrection from the place of the dead, and for a joyful face before your awe-inspiring throne, my Lord and my God, forever and ever. Amen. Page 216, page 216. By the work of Christ our King, the Almighty Lord and God, may we all receive through faith the Lord's blessings in our souls. From your propitiating altar may pardon the sin for your servants, O Son of God, who came for our redemption, and who will come again for our resurrection, and for the renewal of our race forever. congregation of your worshippers who have received your precious body and blood for the absolution of their offenses and for the forgiveness of their sins and for a confident stand in thy awe-inspiring presence our Lord and our God forever and ever Upon those who bear these holy. 
holy mysteries upon those who dispense them, upon those who receive of them, and upon all those who have labored or partaken or are to partake of them. The same mercies of our God be upon us and upon them in both worlds forever and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, be kind and have mercy. Answer, Lord, and have mercy. Praise to you and have mercy. punishment, but rather may these mysteries be for our life and redemption. O Lord, our God, have mercy upon us all. All shall worship and bless you. your name for you give life to the dead and good hope to those entombed hallelujah we thank you O Lord our God for all your works for us so that you may guard this great and amazing gift in us and make us worthy of the banquet in your kingdom. We offer unceasing praise and thanksgiving to you, your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, one God now and always and forever and ever. to you all and to your spirit but if more after having received these holy mysteries which have been administered let us again bow our heads before the merciful Lord we bow our heads before you our Lord and our God oh Christ our King of glory. Pardon the sins of us, your faithful people, and forgive the offenses of, of your flock. Make the wealthy charitable and care for the orphans and widows. Provide for the poor and satisfy the deficiency of those who are in need. Because to you belongs glory, honor, and dominion with your Father and your Holy Spirit now and always and forever and ever. Amin barech mo nirdhanayama vidhavayude chillikashinu tulyamada Tiru Sabayude Sudharin 
ഇത്തിരുവേലിയേ കൈ കൊള്ളുക ൊരു തന്നിൽ നിന്നിരിലുമാൽമാവിലും സ്നാനം ഹിതമോടേറ്റാൻ സുരസവിശേഷം ജനതയിലുണ്ടെന്നുൾഘോഷിച്ച മാധ്യസ്ഥത്തിനു നിന്നീടണമേ തിരുസന്നിധി ദോഷത്തിൽ നിന്നീഴകളെ തൻ കൃപമൂലം രക്ഷിച്ചീട മകനോടു ജനനി മാതാവുയാജേക്കും പരേഷു ധന്മാരും നാഥ പുണ്യം നൽകേങ്ങു മരേച്ചോർക്കും അർഹോർസലോൻ ബസ്ലോമോ ആഹായൻ ഹബിബായൻ വാത്സല്യ സഹോദരങ്ങളെ കർത്താവിൻ്റെ ഭാവപരിഹാർവൃതമായ ബലിവീഴ്ത്തുന്ന നിങ്ങൾ പ്രാപിച്ചിരിക്കുന്ന വാഴ്വുകളോടും യാത്ര ഭക്ഷണത്തോടും തണ്ണീർക്കുടികളോടും കൂടെ പരിശുദ്ധവും മഹനീയവുമായ തൃത്വത്തിൻ്റെ കൃപയ്ക്കും കരുണയ്ക്കുമായി നിങ്ങളെ ഞാൻ ഭരമേൽപ്പിക്കുന്ന ഈ സമയത്ത് നിങ്ങൾ സമാധാനത്തോടെ പോകുവേ ദൂരസ്ഥന്മാരുടെ അടുത്ത് സമീപസ്ഥരും ജീവനുള്ളടുത്ത് വാങ്ങിപ്പോയവരും നമ്മുടെ കർത്താവായ ഈശ്മിഷാട് വിജയ സ്ലീവായാൽ രക്ഷിക്കപ്പെട്ടുവരും പരിശുദ്ധ മാമോദീസാട് രൂക്ഷ്മയാൽ മുതിരൂത്തപ്പെട്ടുവരുമേ ഈ തൃത്വം നിങ്ങളുടെ കടങ്ങളെ ക്ഷമിക്കും നിങ്ങളുടെ കുറവുകളെ മായ്ക്കും വിശ്വാസികളാൽ നിങ്ങളുടെ വാങ്ങിപ്പോയവർക്ക് താനാശ്വാസവും നല്ല ഓർമ്മയും നൽകുകയും ചെയ്യും ഞാനോ ബലഹീനും ഭാവിയുമായ ദാസൻ നിങ്ങളുടെ പ്രാർത്ഥനയാലും അപേക്ഷയാലും കർത്തൃ സന്നദ്ധി നിന്ന് സഹായം കൈക്കൊള്ളുവാൻ ഇടയാകട്ടെ നിങ്ങളോ സന്തോഷിച്ച് തൃപ്തരായി ആനന്ദ സമേതം പോകുകയും നാൾ തോറുമുള്ള പ്രാർത്ഥനയിൽ തന്നെയും ഓർത്തോളുവേൻ receiving the holy communion Baruch Mor may your holy body Lord Jesus Christ our God bring me eternal life and your precious blood the forgiveness of sins may this holy eucharist bring me joy health gladness and at your dread second coming make me a sinner worthy to stand at your right hand and offer you glory with all the prayers of your pure mother and all your saints now and always and forever amen he makes me to lie down in green pastures he leads me beside the still waters he restores my soul he leads me in the right paths for his name's sake even though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil for you are with me your rod and your staff they confirm me you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies 
You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And to you belongs the praise, O God, Barak Moor. Good morning, everyone. Here are today's announcements for Sunday, January, 20, <clears throat> January 15, 2023. Today's Bible verse is taken from St. Matthew chapter 5, verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. So let us all repeat. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. So one more time. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. St. Matthew chapter 5, verse 8. <clears throat> we just have a few announcements. Um, first, we have it from our MMVS. The MMVS uh, have a prayer for the sick people immediately after Holy Kurbana. Please stay after the Kaimut. Second, the MMVS is collecting membership fee for $10, of $10 for the year 2023. All ladies above 18 years of age are members of MMVS. Please so please make your contributions. To all our ladies who are part of MMVS, please do pay your dues. And at the same time, as I said, uh, those who can, please stay afterwards so we can do prayers for those of our church members who are sick and in the hospitals. Next, we have an announcement from our St. Thomas Missions. The St. Thomas Mission is continuing the sponsorship of 78 children for the school year of 2023 and, sorry, 2022 and 23 from six, from six of our charitable institutions from India. Those who have committed the sponsorship, kindly give your checks to our church treasurer or Feben Kuriakos or Sunil Mani as early as possible. So those who have made those commitments to sponsor children through our St. Thomas Mission for those children studying in India, please do make your contributions as early as possible to the treasurer or Feben or Sunil Mani from the St. Thomas Missions. Next we have an announcement regarding a uh, wedding announcement, I should say. Of, of our members. Mr. Gerald Philip Varghese, or Dr. Gerald Philip Varghese, will be united in holy matrimony with Mary Ann Tony on Saturday, January 21st, 2023, at the St. Thomas Orthodox Cathedral, Stafford, Texas. Gerald is a member of this parish, and he's the son of Mr. Varghese Poten Monyaril and Mrs. Leonama Varghese. He resides at 13714 Charter House Way, Sugarland, Texas, 77498. Mary Ann Tony is the daughter of Mr. Tony Francis and Mrs. Mary Tony. She res reside, they reside at 14222 Ayers Rock Road, Sugarland, Texas. And she is a member of the Holy Family Catholic Church in Rockland, Rockford, Illinois. If you are aware of any canonical or ecclesiastical objections to conduct this marriage, please inform this parish in writing within 10 days. This is our second announcement from the Vicar. And finally, two things. Uh, as we know that as we begin the new year, we have a lot of events and plan, uh, programs planned, especially through our MGOCSM. As a reminder, if you want, you know, as we have our dices and programs for our sports tournament and other activities in the summer, we're requesting uh, all the children and also re reminding the parents if they wish to participate and re represent our church for any of our these Dyson functions or area functions or regional functions, uh, the MGOCSM members must be attending. Uh, at least 80% of the, the events and uh, Bible studies and programs that we have as an MGOCS, MGOCSM for the year. So we request all of our young people, if you wish to represent our church at any of these different functions or uh, sports tournaments or programs, make sure that you're attending when we're having our Bible studies, uh, social events, service events, uh, whatever they may be. Please t try to, I would hope for 100%, but a minute we're saying 80%, all of you at least please attend. We will be taking attendance if you're noticing uh, that you're not attending, we'll talk with the team captains to make sure that those who are representing our church at these different uh, events uh, are, mem are students who have been participating in our MGOCSM. And finally, as you know, as we said, the MMVS is already doing a prayer after Akaimut. We know there's a lot of our members who are in the hospital, uh, who've been in the hospital for a while, uh, like uh, we know Tambi Uncle. And, and, the, and now we have a Titus as well, and now in the hospital. We know that there's different people who are also at home sick with different ailments and diseases like cancer. Uh, we're continuing to pray for them, and we ask that as a church and as uh, our membership, please continue to uphold uh, our members 
in your prayers and continue to remember them, even if you can't remember their names, know that there's many people who are sick and who are in need in this church, and it's our responsibility as a church to make sure that we are upholding them and praying for them and supporting them as best as we can. So with that being said, we know as MMVS is already doing a prayer after Karmat, but we'll do a prayer now, uh, after Achin comes out, and we'll do a prayer when the altar is open to pray for those members uh, who are sick and in the church, uh, sorry, and in need. And finally, as you know, we have two guest members. Achin is still finishing the Qurbana for the post-communion. Uh, we're blessed to have Reverend Father James Chiren Achin, who is the, currently serving at the Vi, as the Vicar of the St. Gregorius Orthodox Church in Cleveland. Achin also has two congregations, one in uh, Columbus and one in uh, Pittsburgh. Achin is uh, born and raised in uh, Pune, in, in the, uh, near Bombay. Uh, and uh, was studying here in St. Tikhon's with myself when I was there at St. Tikhon's. Achin is very eloquent and vibrant and uh, great Achin for our church and especially with our diocese. We're grateful for Achin's prayers and presence and celebrating the Holy Qurbana on this Sunday morning. Achin was here yesterday for a wedding of one of his church members um, from Cleveland who recently moved to Houston. So we're grateful for Achin's uh, being present here and celebrating the Holy Qurbana. At the same time in the chapel, we had a uh, grandfather Reggie uh, Matthew Achin uh, Achen is also, uh, or Achen has come from the Northeast Diocese. Achen also came for the wedding. He serves at the St. Thomas Church in uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, we thank also Achen for his prayers and presence in celebrating the Holy Qurbana uh, in the chapel uh, for our church membership. So if, if any of the members here are available, you know, Achen, both Achen should be here after our Kaimut. So if anyone wants to talk to them, they can. Uh, but uh, it's a great uh, blessing for our church uh, for having both of them here with us on this Sunday morning. With that being said, uh, once Atin is finished, we'll come forward for the uh, first for the prayer for the sick, and then come forward uh, for the kaimut. <coughs> Rogarthan Marke Guga Saugyam Shirnan Markai Chemam Nalgi Balamatavare Kathiraname Kurulo Diltrapti Varu Toga Dirusambatal Dinan Markum Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. O Heavenly King, the medicine of life who came down from the Virgin Mary, we ask of you that you remember all your children who are undergoing all sorts of physical, mental, and physical ailments, spiritual ailments. Lord, we ask of you that you extend your right hand full of grace, blessing, and healing, and touch these, your children, who are in desperate need for your presence. Lord, we recognize and fully believe and understand that all those children whom you touched and who touched you during your incarnation were completely healed. Lord, we ask of you that that very same presence touch and heal and abundantly Restore all your children who are undergoing all sorts of ailments. Bless the medications that they are taking. Bless all your children who are serving them. And as your children grow, go through their difficult times, enable them to understand that these are moments to come closer to you, to rely on you, and to submit into your abundant mercy and care. Do not let our sins stand as an hindrance to your grace. Let your grace and justice meet, and may all your children be healed by your abundant mercy. By the prayers of Saint Mary, the mother of God, and of all the saints, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Christopher Rachin and I went to seminary at the same time. It was a wonderful three-year period that we shared together. So thank you. I always relive those moments. It was wonderful to serve liturgy together with him this morning. P.M. Charyan and Achin and I, I consider him as my elder brother, as a fatherly figure. 
Um, we don't call each other much. I call him once in a while when I have doubts, but we don't have a honey bunny relationship in our friendship. But I have always learned from him, always got inspired by the way he does things. And may his presence, he doesn't talk much, so if you think he doesn't care, it's not, the, it's not the how it works. Just because we live in a time and culture where you, we are used to yapping around. So when you see people who don't yap around as much as we do, we think they are weird. So that's, I know Achan personally on that matter because his silence is the grace of God that will abundantly fill his ministry and fill your lives. So I hope and pray that you utilize Achan's prayer, his presence in your life. And thank you, Achan, for everything that you do. All glory and honor be to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, now and always and forever. Amen. Keep me and my church, my ministry in your prayers. I have a bunch of my parishioners who are here amongst you, lost in the big crowd. I welcome them as well. God bless you and have a good one. Have a wonderful week ahead. Just a reminder, just as a reminder, we do have air repairs at the beginning, uh, started last Sunday. So please be uh, uh, mindful of those announcements when we have the prayers so that everyone does attendance, especially if you're in that area. So when we have those announcements for our air repair that we're beginning this, uh, this year, please do attend and may it be a blessing for our church and our communities. Thank you. Oh, oh pure and virgin lady, oh spotless day, oh tokos, rejoice, O oh, unwedded bride, oh virgin queen and mother, oh do we please, most sacred, rejoice, O oh, unwedded bride, O oh, high transcending heaven above, O oh, beam of light, most radiant, rejoice, O oh, unwedded bride, O oh, joy of chaste and virgin maids, Surpassing all the angels, rejoice, O oh, unwedded bride, O oh, brilliant light of heaven above, most clear and most radiant, rejoice, O oh, unwedded bride, commanding chief. So unwedded bride, O oh, ever Virgin Mary, O oh, Mistress of Creation, rejoice, O oh, unwedded bride, O oh, bride all pure and spotless, O oh, Lady. Rejoice, O oh, unwedded bride, O oh, holy Mary, bride and queen, and cause of our rejoicing. Rejoice, O oh, unwedded bride, O oh, maiden queen, most honorable, O oh, mother, most holy. So unwedded bride, more precious than the cherubim, more glorious than the seraphim. Rejoice, O oh, unwedded bride, surpassing principalities, dominions, thrones, and power. Rejoice, O unwedded bride, rejoice, song of the cherubim, rejoice.
rejoice him of the angels rejoice O unwedded bride rejoice O dawn of the seraphim and joy of the archangels rejoice O unwedded bride rejoice O peace rejoice O joy and haven of salvation. Rejoice, O unwedded bride, O bridal chamber of the world, unfading, fragrant blossom. Rejoice, O unwedded bride, rejoice, delight of Everlasting, rejoice, O unwedded bride, rejoice, O holy tree of life and fount of immortality, rejoice, O unwedded bride, I supplicate thee, lady. I humbly call upon thee, O rejoice, O unwedded bride, O spotless and most honored maid, O lady, O holy, rejoice, O unwedded bride, O thou my help deliver me. From harm and all adversity, rejoice, O unwedded bride, and by thy prayer show me to be an heir of immortality. Rejoice, O unwedded bride.